my loves, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Katora, and as you can see by the title, today I will be doing shrooms in the rainforest. If you didn't see my last video, I've been out here for four days now. Today is my last full day out here in Puerto Rico, and I'm just really grateful to have experienced so much thus far. And I'm really excited to see what this shroom trip will bring me. I will be going on a hike. I've honestly been hiking every day since I've got out here. And I didn't expect to hike every single day. But it's just like, ever since the first hike that I went on, I'm just like, I gotta go on another one. I have to see more. So I really can't wait to experience this hike on shrooms and just take everything in and immerse myself in it. I'm staying in this beautiful cabin right on the edge of El Yunque Rainforest and the view is literally crazy it's such a cute little cabin um i'll take you guys for a little walk around it's another eating table back here you can see it into the living room area over here this is one of the bedrooms it's a mess in there i'm not sleeping in there i just keep my clothes in there but it's so beautiful out here look at this little pineapple like Aw, this view literally never gets old though, guys. Like, wow. And the sun just came out. It's beautiful out here. I can't wait to experience my shroom trip in this beautiful rainforest. And I know I'm gonna cry. At this point, if you're familiar with my channel, you're, you know I'm a crier. Like, so I'm just saying, that, disclaimer, I will be crying if you don't wanna see me cry. Just leave now. That was a lot of work. So my 20 minute drive turned into 40 minutes because initially, I don't know what happened with my Google Maps, but it took me to the wrong location. I don't know where it was taking me, but it's not where I was supposed to be going. So I had to drive another 20 minutes to get to where I actually needed to be. I'm about to head to the trail. I'm scared, but fuck it, like, you know we're here look y'all it's so pretty i have no idea where i'm going apparently it's a 20 minute hike to the river where there's like a waterfall and a swing very serene look at this shit y'all <laughs> yo i just oh I just got here and I already tripped like 50 times. I'm about to eat my shrooms. I got these plantain chips at Walgreens and I'm just gonna put the shrooms in here and just eat it with the chips and hope that that's enough. But. I hate the taste of mushrooms, I'm not gonna lie. This is so fucking nasty. <laughs> mm -mm. I almost just threw the fuck up. I'm gonna keep walking. I'm gonna come back over here on my way back since it's close to the parking lot. Um, but let's explore. How y'all get over there? <laughs> Do you want to say hi to my vlog? Vlog! She is <laughs> making me go up there and I'm really not happy about this. Wait, we gotta go up there? Yeah. What if we can't go down the river? Like normal people. I think my Airbnb host told me about that place. Mm -hmm. oh, 
I'm tired, y'all. It's only been like five minutes. Who are you kidding? Who are you telling? Um, yeah, my girlfriend works me to death. And she walks me to death. I was really about to do this by myself, I'm not gonna lie. I like to challenge myself that way, but I'm happy I ran into you guys. That's so cool. an adventure y'all I'm out here climbing rocks I slipped so many times and look at my shoes they're done my feet are so wet but where are they I don't see them mm -mm. <laughs> relax Stella relax It's beautiful out here. You're gonna yourself in a little bit. <laughs> You're in the city. Likewise, y'all were great. Are y'all ready to save me if I start drowning? I'll, I got to get Yes. Uh-uh. Get off my bed. Where's the chunk like that? Yeah. Excuse me, if I light a, 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 a Philly, do you guys get offended? <laughs> My little weed bag, you're going to walk past it, but I do have a, a second joint. Uh, listen, I don't have a problem with it, for real. I know how it is. <laughs> oh, our weed is, is, is on the other part. My friend, she, she panicked, so she stayed with this little bag down there. She's uh, she white. She has long, long, curly hair, and it's all white, kind of like mine. Kim, Kim, yeah, I, I got a little, little, little bottle like that. Talk to her about it. And then, you know, you gotta go to Vieques. That's where we're about to go now. Shut up. We're gonna go there right now. Oh, slam it. They're going to Vieques, mama. What do you have planned in Vieques? Nothing. What should we have planned? What should we do? What moon are we in? What moon? Moon. If it's a full moon, don't do the bio bag. Don't do it. It's the eighth wonder of the world. Don't get me wrong. It's yeah. beautiful. Horseback riding. No. Horseback riding. They got a bio bag. Black beach. I'm gonna go. time like no that, that shit is not even deep like why was I dying bro I swear my life flashed before my eyes like 
Ta génial. Mais gros, on se croit. My poor shoes. I'm a new person after this shit. Yes, I did. <laughs> you didn't like panic driving on shrimps? I just said, dear God, please get me home in one day. Yeah. <laughs> and then and then I had therapy. So on top of that, I parked in the driveway and said to my son a little, I use your bike truck. Sure did. I I ate most most chocolate mushrooms. <laughs> And he just looked at me, okay. <laughs> so what gonna do? The only thing in my system right now is them shrooms. <laughs> and I almost drowned on shrooms. <laughs> <laughs> I was down by the lake and I decided to eat them. And then I saw these, 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 these ladies walking door to the floor in her tribe. And then I decided to go across the river. <laughs> and try and help her. I'm on my way back to um, the B&B so I can shower real quick before I head back out and I want to make some food and stuff. But I have to pull over because I'm like really sitting here thinking about like my experience here. Bro, like, I don't know why I ever feel like I'm alone because I literally never am. Like God always shows up for me somehow, some way through so many people and through so many things and i really possess so much abundance within me and that shit is reflecting externally so much these days like i'm just my heart is full and i'm just full of gratitude because like a lot of the time i forget that like my connection within myself and my connection with god and my connection with mother earth and my connection with everybody around me like we're literally a connected consciousness bro like of course you're never alone what do you mean you feel alone like what that shouldn't even be a thought in my head bro like everyone is a reflection of me and i'm a reflection of everything and everyone around me it's been proven evident this entire trip bro like i've met so many beautiful people out here and i've met I've seen so many beautiful things <laughs> and just like the energy out here is just different bro and I'm like at a loss for words because I'm feeling so much but we are really a connected consciousness and you can really feel that shit if you allow yourself to tap in and to be one with those around you like the people that I met today they were so such beautiful people bro they treated me like I was one of their own bro I felt like I was with family and that's how it should be like all the time bro because we're all interconnected we're all a reflection of god bro we're all the same <laughs> a lot of the time i do allow myself to feel like out of place and just outcasted a little bit because i grew up feeling that way and that's my own inner child healing work that i have to do but a lot of the time i do allow myself to just feel like i don't belong anywhere and like you know it's just me and me like but no, like, that's literally never the case, bro. You just have to vibrate at the vibration that you want to receive. And once you're doing that, bro, everything around you will reflect that. Like, so yeah, I just had to pull over and cry a little bit and say that. That rock climbing that I just did was crazy, bro. Like, that was not no beginner-friendly rock climbing nothing. Like, that was definitely, like intermediate you mastered rock climbing at that point if you could do that but shit i did it so i guess i'm a fucking rock climber but that shit was crazy i couldn't film a lot of it because i didn't want to drop my um camera in the water and you literally had to walk through like water you, i had to give people my bag like to hold while i went in the water oh and i drowned by the way <laughs> y'all gonna see in the previous clips but i fucking drowned on shrooms bro <laughs> And I hope my parents don't see this video because they're going to be like, oh, nah, like you're never going anywhere by yourself again. I'm so glad that the people that I drowned with were the people that I drowned with, if that makes sense. Like, I was really determined to make that hike alone, like to do everything alone. And God was really like, no, babes, like here is some of the loving that you 
need reflected in your external world because I could not, bro, I would have died if I went and did that hike alone. I'm not going to lie. Like, that shit was challenging as hell. And God really threw me a temporary family to vibe out with for the time being. And shout out to them. I'm super grateful for y'all. Um, if you're seeing this. Hey friends, so I'm back at the cabin, clearly, and I just made some food, took a shower and stuff. I made a chickpea tofu salad with avocado, peppers and onions, um, and just like a, a greens mix, and I added a little bit of lime. And I'm not gonna hold y'all this shit bussing, my God. I snap. I'm going to eat the leftovers when I come back later. I'm going to sit in the sun. Today's been such a beautiful day. I really did not expect today to go like this at all. But I'm grateful that it went this way because I think, like, me meeting all those people and even just, not even, the, not even only the people that I spent most of my time with, I met a few more people out on my hike as well and everyone just felt so genuine and authentic and they just felt like they really just saw me for who I was and had like held no judgment towards me and <laughs> it just filled my heart up like I really thought I was going to be sitting in the rainforest by myself having all these realizations but it's like sometimes you need community to remind you that like you know, you don't always learn from being by yourself. Like, yes, solitude is a virtue. I personally learn the most when I'm alone, but moments like this just fill my heart up even more because it's just like, I don't expect these things. You feel me? Like, I know, I kind of know what to expect in my solitude. Like, I kind of understand how that works for me at this point in my life. But like, with, people and with human beings you really don't know what to expect like you kind of just learn from them in ways that you don't even know you couldn't even predict how you would learn from them it just happens so authentically and I'm just grateful like it was such a beautiful day and whew, aside from me drowning <laughs> I really did like have like the best day this was probably my best room trip I'm not gonna lie because I really put myself out there. When I tell y'all that hike was not easy, like, I think my biggest takeaway from this trip is like, you really have to look for love and you have to look for comfort in ways that is probably gonna be a little unexpected for you. But it's essential to kind of like put yourself in those positions where you're able to learn in new ways and you're able to receive in new ways and just putting yourself in that position to see all the abundance that you already possess and see all of the blessings that are already existing internally reflect in your external world. I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful, okay? I'm grateful to be here. I'm just happy and I can't wait to come back to Puerto Rico soon because this place is definitely like one of my best trips so far. Honestly, I can't even like, I can't rate my trips, but this one is definitely in the top three for sure. I'm just sitting here journaling about my trip and I'm honestly sad to go. Like, I really gained so much wisdom and so much certainty in such a short period of time. 
and I really just want to cry. Because not only am I just like really grateful, I'm really proud of myself. I would have never had the courage to do something like this. Like a few months ago, let alone like, like a year ago, like I've grown so much. I've grown tremendously. And I don't really acknowledge it for what it is because I try to stay humble and I try to just know that like, although I've learned so much and although I've gained so much wisdom, I'm forever gonna be a student and I'm forever gonna have things to grow from and things to learn from. But I really need to give myself the credit where it's due because I've learned to just follow my heart and I've learned to trust myself and I've learned to trust God and I've learned to throw myself into the bit the abyss when needed and I've learned to face my fears and I've learned to be who I am authentically no matter where I am or who I'm around and I've learned to to hold space for myself and hold space for others and I really I'm just super proud of myself because I'm only 22 years old, bro. Like, I just turned 22. I'm a 2000 baby. Like, I, I, I barely lived life, honestly. But the fact that I've done so much and learned so much already is something to be proud of. And I'm just really grateful that I made it this far. I'm grateful that I was able to stay safe during this trip. I'm grateful that. I was able to meet everyone that I did and see everything that I saw. I'm grateful that I didn't have service most of this time, honestly, because it allowed me to be present. The waves are getting crazy right now. Let me stop fucking crying and shit. And advice for people who are seeing me doing what I'm doing and are like oh my god i wish i could do this oh i wish i was so brave you can do it you are brave you have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable and you have to just take risks sometimes in order to experience it in order to experience the things that you want to experience and in order to grow in new ways and if i was to listen to my fears if i was to listen to people around me if i was to listen to my parents I would not be here right now. I wouldn't have gone to nearly as many places I've, as I've gone. I wouldn't have had the experiences that I've had. I wouldn't have met so many beautiful people and seen so many beautiful places and things. And you really just have to do it, bro. Just do it. Don't think about it. <laughs> Make sure you're being safe. But life is too short to let fear hold you back, bro. And there was this post that I seen all the time like a year ago and it was like everything you everything you're seeking or everything you're searching for is on the other side of fear. And I literally experienced that this entire trip. Um, Cause when I first got here, I was really, really anxious on the first day that I got here. And I cried a bunch of times. I was scared. I'm like, am I safe? Should I be doing this? Is this the right thing? Why, does, why do I feel like this, being completely alone out here? And I woke up the next morning and I was like, wow, like I'm here and it's not that fucking serious. <laughs> like, like I'm literally doing something that I've dreamed of doing for a long time. And I hope that this is the start of, or not I hope, this is the start of something that I, plan on doing again and again and again because wow like traveling with people is one thing but traveling by yourself and forcing and pushing yourself to do things that you normally wouldn't do alone it is shape-shifting and I can't wait to see everything else that I'm able to learn on my solo trips 
and today was really just amazing the best honestly bro i can say that that was the best room trip i've had i when i tell y'all that that bro i said this before i'm gonna say it again that climb was crazy the amount of times that i slipped the amount of times that i thought i was gonna die <laughs> mind you i was high off shrooms like high as shit <laughs> And I was just like, I got to do it. Like, I got to see it through. And I had so much fun doing it. And I don't regret anything. I love it here. Thank you so much, Puerto Rico. Like, for real. Puerto Rico literally owes me nothing. Like, I fulfilled everything that I've wanted to fulfill on this trip. And, yeah. So, I'm going to finish journaling. I'm going to try to be present for these last few moments that I have here at the beach. And yeah, I'll see y'all when I see y'all.